In this video, as promised, I will uh, cover a little bit of the statistics with regard to startup successes and failures. This is a graph that has uh, been sourced from CB Insights, a great website to obtain uh, market intelligence and business insights on the world of innovation, startups, and uh, disruptive technology, and, and, and so on. So as you can see here, they took a, 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 a panel of 1,098 uh, USC tech companies, so basically companies that have uh, gotten a first round of funding. So how many of them got a second round of funding? So how many of them got you know, funded you know, after the seed round? So here are 46% uh, were funded and 40% uh, failed to raise. And uh, of um, you know, the, the remaining, basically did a merger and acquisition and exited in that stage. So it seems like a merger and acquisitions, to give you an idea, so when your company gets bought, happens mostly you know, in the second round, right? So because you have 14% of mergers and acquisition right here. So on the third round, uh, only 28% basically of uh, startup were able to get a third round. And the fourth round, you know, it gets uh, lower. Only 14% uh, were able to get a fourth round. Fifth round uh, gets uh, very small there. It's 6%, uh, I believe. And then 6% uh, um, or 2% for the sixth round. So it doesn't mean necessarily, you know, that all uh, companies need to have, you know, six round of funding. But, you know, you typically get, you know, the first round of funding and then you test your idea. It either works or it doesn't work. And many companies, as you can see, you know, fail to raise. So, you know, uh, 119 third round, which is 11%, fourth round, 9%, uh, fifth round, 7%, sixth round, you know, 2.3%, um, and, uh, you know, mergers and acquisitions. So basically, 40% of company fails, uh, fail to raise a second round. So when you get your first round, you know, you really have to make it happen. The investors, you know, they would put the money on the table and you have to prove the business model. You have to make it work at the first round. That's that's what it, it kind of means here. So 70% of those companies are then either dead or self-sustaining, meaning, you know, they're able to generate enough, you know, cash money to be able to basically, you know, sustain themselves on their own, which is a good thing. And uh, as we had uh, spoken, you know, in earl uh, earlier videos, you know, uh, unicorn status, you know, like example, you know, Airbnb, Slack, and so on, you know, it's only one percent, right? So it's ten companies uh, that were able to reach, you know, the unicorn startup. So one percent, it's a it's a low um, uh, low low ratio. So don't expect necessarily, you know, your company to be. Uh, the you know the next you know unicorn startup it's 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 going to be very hard, but in the U.S. to give you an idea, about two thousand startups get funded by VCs each year, which is not so much when you think about it. Um, there are a lot of startup companies you know being founded uh, every year. I think in the rounds of you know six hundred thousand to maybe a million you know new companies built every year. You know, in the US, I believe that's the correct amount, but only 2,000 get funded by VC each year. So, so this is the stats, you know, so funding is not guaranteed and hard to get. So that's why I also advise a lot of the entrepreneurs I work with to basically, you know, try to obtain revenue as soon as possible. That should be the, you know, number one goal is to build your product, of course, but try to sell it right away.